We've got a problem about half-lives. We're told that technetium 99 m has a half-life of 6.0 hours. If a patient is given 36.0 milligrams of technetium 99 m for organ imaging, how much will be left of the technetium 99 m in her system after two days? You can see what we first started with was figuring out, since the half-lives were talked about in terms of hours, it made sense to figure out, well, how many hours are in two days? And just like any other unit conversion, I start with my unit I'm trying to get out of, the two days. I do times in a line, and I put days in the bottom, and I put hours on top. Now, the first time I did this, I didn't put the numbers in until I was all set because I decided to keep on going. I was excited that I was out of days and into hours and my goal was to find out how many half-lives will go by in two days if each half-life takes six hours. We did the math, we multiplied two times 24, got 48 hours, divided it by six hours per half-life and we ended up with eight half-lives that would occur in two days. Well, that's great to know, but what does that mean? The definition of a half-life is the amount of time it takes for half of our starting material, in this case, half of our technetium 99M, to go away, to decay and become a new nucleus. And so, we want to know how many of those half-lives will go by because each time a half-life goes by we lose half of our mass. Half of our matter and therefore half of our mass becomes a new nucleus, a more stable nucleus for each of these half-lives. So one half-life, and I didn't write the word life, but one half-life equals half of our mass. We can take those 36 milligrams, and one way to figure out how much will be left after those eight half-lives is to divide by two eight times. You might make some mistakes that way, so we could also just do 36.0 milligrams divided by two to the eighth power. That's because if I had something that was like one half times one half, I'm dividing by a half over and over again, divide, multiplying by 0.5 over and over again. I would say one times one times one eight times, and I would have two times two times two eight times. Two times itself eight times is the same as two to the eighth power. So for each half life, you could take your original amount and divide by two to whatever that half-life number was. And When we did that, there was some argument because somebody didn't divide by two eight times. What the actual answer came out to be was 0.14 milligrams. I decided to go with two significant figures instead of three, even though we had 36.0 milligrams, because I knew that back in the beginning it was pretty specific. I assumed that two days had gone by, and it's a given amount that 24 hours are in a day, but they were telling me that it was 6.0 hours per half-life. So if I assumed that there were two full days going by, then there would be 8.0 half-lives. Now that could be a bone of contention with some instructors. They might say that two days, it wasn't specified if it was 2.0, 2.5, so they may insist that it just be eight half-lives. And so our final answer could only have one significant figure. Some may be okay with the fact that you had three significant figures in your starting mass, so it's okay to have three significant figures at the end. I probably should have put 2.0 days to be more specific so that we could have two significant figures in our answer.